Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and something that uh, might be popping up if you're a user of the uh, Chrome browser. Uh, one of the things that will probably be showing up in the next days, if it hasn't already, because some of you probably already have seen it, when you start uh, Google Chrome, you will be greeted with a page that looks like this. And the page is Enhance Ad Privacy in Chrome. Uh, this is the new um, way that Chrome wants to actually uh, check and prevent too much tracking by third-party cookies. And this is called the Privacy Sandbox. Now, not everybody is okay with it. I think this is a first response of Google to the fact that a lot of people want to have a little more control over their privacy and know what's happening in their browser. Um, I think it is a much needed uh, thing because um, definitely there are places where ads are kind of out of control. So uh, you'll be greeted with this. Whatever your answer, settings, or got it, you will be greeted with this and you have it. Now, um, the Enhanced Ad Privacy in uh, Google Chrome, what it does is something that we talked about a few months ago. Instead of having every website track you all the time in every way possible, it will actually look at the tracking, prevent third-party trackers, but create categories. So when you are actually going to um, navigate the web, depending on the searches that you do, the websites you visit, the privacy sandbox will put categories. It'll say, oh, this user prefers sports. It goes on sports websites all the time. Or this user purchases a lot of technology. So maybe it's better to have technology ads. Um, what it's supposed to help is, first of all, remove a lot of the randomness of ads where ads are just zero interesting because they're not even displaying ads that might be interesting to you, but also um, prevent the useless tracking by third-party cookies all the time. So more privacy is the idea behind this. And, um, of course, that means that you still be tracked, but it also, I think, is a response to um, European Union that wants you to have less unknown tracking. So uh, the uh, privacy sandbox can also be disabled if you go into the upper right corner, three vertical dots, and go into the settings. On the left side, you'll have um, the privacy and security. Here, you can go down to what is called add privacy and here the switches for this are here so you have had topics turn it on or off and so on once the add privacy settings are on you'll see these switches will turn on now whether you turn it on or not um, this you're still being tracked and that's the thing to understand you're still having ads uh, so um, this will just change the way that the ads are supposed to be there. There's one thing also about the ad privacy um, settings is that now they will be refreshed or erased every four weeks, meaning that the categories that it actually created, if in four weeks you're searching for other stuff, because you know, sometimes we search for specific things, but it's just because of an event, well, in four weeks, all of that is flushed, and you kind of restart with a different, um, you know, privacy sandbox with different categories, depending on what you do. So this, don't be surprised if it pops up from Google Chrome. It's the new way that they're trying to have ads displayed with categories rather than, you know, having everybody just uh, get in and do whatever they want. So more control, more privacy but still being tracked, that definitely. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.